first, start off kind of in a push-up ready position. You want your hands to be about shoulder width apart. Point the fingers towards the front. I've seen people that turn it to the side. That actually uses different muscles and it's a little bit weaker. You want your head kind of up, but still looking down at the ground. You want your back flat, your booty kind of straight. You do not want to see this. It's bad form. This is bad form. Strong, straight back on your toes. If you have your hands under your shoulders, your feet shouldn't slide back. Because when people get their hands up in front of them, up by the head, that your feet actually start to slide. Keep in mind. Okay, so hands under your shoulders. You're going down until your elbows are at 90 degrees. Out there. And then back up. Different view. Going from the front. Hands about shoulder width apart. Down and up. Okay, we're going to show you a proper curl up. This is one that we'll be using a lot this year. Okay, proper curl up. Start off sitting down. Your feet are bent. Your feet are flat on the ground. Knees are bent. Around a 90 degree angle. It should be about a foot in between your booty and your heels. Your hands stay flat on the ground. Fingers, that's okay. The hands flat on the ground. Lay back, head down, go halfway up, and then back down. Your whole back must get off the ground, and then you lay back down. It's also not a flop. You don't want to go until just your shoulders are up. This is not a curl up. And you don't want to go all the way up because at this point in time, your abdominal muscles are actually at rest. You can sit here for a long time this way. So. Halfway up, keeping those hands in contact with the ground and down. Slightly different view. Halfway up and back down. The next skill, skill that we're going to be working on is the cub jacks. All three of these we do a lot. We do it within workouts. If you're doing a lot more, we do it as a warm up a lot. Um, cub jacks, they're, we also call them pride jacks because when you do them, you do them with pride, and you'll see why if you haven't ever done it before. For a lot of you guys, this is kind of old school stuff. You guys have this down. Practice it nonetheless. Okay, a cub jack. You start off with your hands by your side, and just like any old regular jumping jack, as your hands go up, your feet go out. When your hands go down, your feet go in. Some people actually end up opposing, and that's not what you want. So, hands up, feet out, and hands in, hands down, feet in. And then you actually, how we count. We count by spelling out cubs. I'll go slow through once. We usually do two rounds. First round I'll do it slowly. Second round I'll do it quicker. You actually skip a cub jack between each count. So, it's like this. C U B S Cubs C U B S Cub. That would be one round. We usually do two rounds at a time. If you're in the sixth grade, you'll really want to work on this when we come back together and we're all doing it. The count is, it, it's kind of funny to watch people goop it up. Okay, I'll do a, two rounds. I'll do it a little, little bit quicker. Hands by your sides. Ready, begin. C. U, B, S, Cubs, C, U, B, S, Cubs, C, U, B, S, Cubs, C, U, B, S, Cubs. There you have it.